About a month ago, I made a video about how I would never make an iOS screen recorder. It would take too much time. I'm not a developer, and all you would do is complain about the bugs. But at the same time, you lot are quite persistent people. And you know what? I've changed my mind. Say hello to VGJ Rec. Okay, before we get into the app, let me give you a bit of history. In the last couple of weeks, my screen recording videos have become quite popular, and I feel as if it's becoming a kind of central hub for iOS screen recording content. And I knew that some developers may be watching what I was doing. And after I did a video about the iOS wish list, one of those developers got in contact with me. That's this person here. They don't want to be named just yet, because we haven't released the application just yet. We're about 75%, 80% happy with it, and once we get all the bugs fixed, we're gonna release it, and then we'll tell you who's been behind it. But for now, I wanna keep that a secret, and so does he. So after the wishlist video, the developer and I brainstormed for a couple of days, and he said, you know what? Some of these features are probably capable, let me have a crack. And I was like, okay, well, plenty of other developers have tried and not had any success, go ahead. A few days later, he came back with some astonishing piece of software, and we're going to take a look at it right now. So here we are folks, VGJ Rec, an iOS screen recorder from my wish list, which I hope you're all going to love, and I'm sure you will do, because this is unlike any other screen recorder we've had before, it has so many new features. And to be honest, it feels like a, a momentous emotional moment for me. I never thought I would have an application on an iOS device. It's all mostly in thanks of a developer who's done a stupendous job in getting this up and running. So let's take a look. When the developer and I sat down to make this application, we decided on three main things. That would be functionality, reliability, and simplicity. So you have just one main screen to work with and it has all the options, it kicks off the recordings, it takes you to your recordings on the left hand side here and we're also going to put some information in here but we haven't quite built that screen yet. So this is essentially the whole thing all in one screen. So let's take a look at some of the options. First up, face calming. Yes, we've managed to include this in the recordings. What will happen is that your front facing camera will turn on when you start the recording and it will record this in the background. So you won't see it on screen, but when you put the recording onto your photo gallery and have a look, it will put the face cam somewhere around about here in the bottom right hand corner. So uh, just make sure that if you do toggle this feature on, it will be recording you. Next thing, touch input. We've managed to do this on the home screen so far. So whenever you touch on screen, it's going to actually put on a little dot indicator to show where you've touched. So it might be helpful for tutorials and showing people what you're doing on screen. But as I say, we've not incorporated this into any applications or games yet. That's hopefully gonna be completed for maybe the first version of the released uh, VGJ Rec or the second version. That's one of the things that's proving quite difficult to get our heads around. Now the next one I know for most of you will be the biggest feature of the lot and that's internal audio. So if you don't want to record from the microphone and pick up your voice and any external sounds, you can record from the internal audio and get this. It also outputs the audio so you can hear it as well and record at the same time. Now the reason it looks as if it's disabled here is because we have face cam on, so we need to record the microphone as well, but also the internal audio will be recorded by default when it's turned off. Probably need to adjust the uh, options there as it's a little unclear, but yes, this does have internal audio and you're gonna see the benefit when we do a replay of the screen recording we're gonna do. What it actually does, is it levels the audio so that you have the uh, iOS sounds down here around about 25% uh, and your voice recording up here. So that means that you can hear what the person is saying and hear the game sounds just underneath and it's a, a perfect level and I'll demonstrate it's absolutely fantastic. And just going back to our three pillars of what we wanted in this application, reliability was very important. So what we've decided to do is fix the frame rate to 30 frames a second so as to make sure that whenever you're doing a screen recording, there's enough space and capacity in the iOS device to make sure that it captures everything. It's not trying to outperform itself by going at 60 frames a second, because to be honest, 30 frames should be acceptable for most things. 
resolution wise it will go up to 1440p but we've capped it in the current version it's going to be down at 720p uh, as we just go through our performance testing and other than giving your screen recording a file name at the bottom all you need to do is tap on the record button and that automatically kicks you back to the home screen and starts a recording just to know though it does need a wi-fi or internet connection to do the screen recording anyway let's start a recording and see what happens Bing. So once the screen recording kicks in, the face camera will also kick in. Now it doesn't appear on screen, this is all recorded in the background. And I fixed it to a small position in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, not to try and take up any of the stuff on screen. But it's non-movable at the moment. I'm seeing if there's a way that we can move it while we're actually recording. Now if I do some swipes, you should be able to see touch input on the home screen. Very quick one there. And I'll try another one. Uh, you might not have seen that one either. So let's do a really slow swipe from one to the other and you should see touch input. Obviously I'm doing this all and I can't actually see myself. So I do hope it works. And so this is me trying to multitask playing Clash Royale whilst also commentating on what's going on. As I say, the face cam will be recording in the background and when I have a face cam recording on, I've capped the internal volume on the iOS sounds to 25% because I know that what the viewer is going to want to listen to is your voice more than the sounds on screen, but you kind of want to hear the sounds in the background on playback. Obviously the volume will be at whatever you set it at when you're playing on the game, but the recordings in the background are capped to try and give you a better audio levels. And I think it works. I've done a little bit of testing on this to try and get it right. I don't know how the developer has done this. It's just genius work. I said, can you do this? And he went away and uh, a couple of days went by and he finally managed to uh, nail it and it pretty much works damn perfectly. Sometimes it kills a recording. So that's one bug that we need to fix, but it's looking really good. But unfortunately uh, for my Clash Royale battle here, I'm not doing very well, but hopefully you should be seeing a very good illustration now of how the face cam is working with the recording on screen and the internal sounds and it should look damn good because the developer and he gets uh, a lot of credit here. Oh, I'm going to stop playing. Now unfortunately for the rest of that recording I got a little sweary because I was losing at my game of Clash Royale. So I've muted it to finish off the video. Let's recap what you've seen. Face cam and it's working perfectly. Touch input on home screens, not quite perfected within applications and games. We're hoping to fix that soon. And then that audio, did you hear it? A perfect blend of my voice versus the game sounds. That's the thing that we're probably proudest of most so far. And that, as it stands, is the preview look at my application, along with this developer who's working very hard, applying the finishing touches, and he then will reveal himself. As for when it's coming out, well, that is the big question. And you know what all the best developers say? It'll be done when it's done. All I can say is, very soon. Now I know for a fact there is going to be a mountain of questions about VGJ Rec, specifically about functionality. How on earth have you managed to develop this application when others haven't? I know many developers are probably going to be wanting to find out who this person is. Unfortunately, I've locked them in a dungeon until we can get this application ready to release. And he's not going to be checking the comments. And I'm not a developer, so I'm going to be uh, a little useless in answering any technical questions. But I'll do my best to answer all the functionality ones. So by all means, pop them in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. This is kind of a present back to you guys, the community that has been growing very steadily on the Video Gadgets channel for the last couple of months. I'm very appreciative of it and it's been a wonderful experience. So I hope this gift to you uh, continues to help grow this channel, but also your uh, ideas and your journey for screen recording for whatever it is you want to do. So best of luck. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel for more iOS screen recording content just like this, enjoy the rest of your tech day, and we'll see you all very soon on VGJ Rec. Bye for now.